What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Beat of Business with me, Ravi Wadden. If you're interested in investing ideas for the short or long term, love emerging technology and emerging market trends, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and help me out with the YouTube algorithm and hit that like button, drop a comment, and make sure to subscribe. If you didn't get a chance to watch my GameStop video from a couple of days ago, I'll link it up above or you can go to my website, thebeatofbusiness.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about the impact that this GameStop short squeeze has had on the markets and the impact that it will leave going forward. You see, I personally think that this GameStop phenomenon is going to be permanently etched in the stock market history books as the start of a new revolution. What you saw is not going to be a one-off event. What you saw was a transfer of influence and a transfer of power. I can't remember another time in recent history when retail traders were dictating the path of the markets. That type of influence is usually reserved for the institutional traders, but the establishment is being pushed back right in front of our eyes. What we've witnessed over the past couple of days has the entire country talking. Like everywhere you go and everywhere you look, everybody is talking about GameStop. Like most days, I spent the day doing some trading here and there, and then I saw interview after interview of established fund managers talking about how this is so bad for the markets and how they think that a bunch of novices are manipulating stock prices. While that might be true to a certain extent, I doubt that any of these fund managers or experts have actually gone into Wall Street bets and examined it for themselves. If you haven't already, I encourage you to go check it out. What you will find is some analysis and due diligence that honestly is better than some of the commentary and analysis that I find on Wall Street. And the best thing is that it is fully transparent. I'm not saying that it's perfect, I'm just saying that I've never seen this level of contribution towards the markets from society as a whole. And let's not underestimate the power of the retail trader. When I go through Wall Street bets, I'm seeing some thorough analysis and I'm seeing some screenshots from Bloomberg terminals. And if you know anything about Bloomberg terminals, they are not cheap. That tells me that some of the folks on Wall Street bets are highly experienced and might even work for some of the big shops on Wall Street. You see, for me, it felt like stock trading and investing has always had a stigma attached to it, as if it were reserved for only a select few. Like if you don't manage or haven't managed institutional money, your opinion doesn't matter. Or if you didn't have a certain type of education or a certain pedigree, you didn't have influence. So to see this type of democratization that is usually reserved for the tech industry is fascinating and fantastic at the same time. So let's forget Wall Street bets and all these short squeezes for a minute, and let's talk about what's happened since the pandemic started because it is much bigger than that. So many young people have taken an interest in the capital markets, and I'm just so happy to see that. I don't know how many of you are on TikTok, but if you are, what you'll see is hundreds if not thousands of short trading tutorials covering everything from basic buys and sells to tutorials explaining how to execute every option strategy known to mankind. And these videos are highly watched, highly shared, and they're getting more and more traction every single day. That tells me that our younger population is more engaged in their financial future and security than ever. I don't remember watching trading or financial education tutorials on my MySpace, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. For me, the significance of this event is not that there was a short squeeze on a few companies. The significance is that there has been a shift it might be subtle, but there has been a shift in power. Everyday traders like you and I now have access to tools that were only reserved for a select few. If you're sophisticated enough as a retail investor, you now have the power of running algorithmic trading from home. This type of sophisticated investing was reserved for quant shops that spent years building the infrastructure and the intellectual property to support it. I've been watching and reading many established fund managers talking about what the retail traders are doing is reckless. Well, I'd argue that what these hedge funds were doing with their leveraged short positions was reckless as well. Clearly, this type of event was not factored into the risk analysis, and I can almost guarantee that it will be factored into the risk analysis going forward. In closing, this GameStop short squeeze may or may not be a one-off event. Whether it is or not is not the point of this video. The point is that we are at the start of something big and new that hasn't been factored into market analysis in the past. Retail investors are getting younger, they're getting more sophisticated, and we are here to stay. As retail investors, we now have more power than ever to influence the markets. For decades and decades, this type of influence was reserved for the big banks and the big hedge funds and the institutional money. Just to be clear, I am not providing financial advice, just my opinion. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and please leave a comment. Thank you all for watching.